All right, there we go. We are live. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my fellow comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics. I hope you are all ready to have a good day and maybe learn something, because this is going to be a little bit of a different type of video than I normally do. Um, for some reason, it wasn't working right away, so sorry I was about a minute or two late. I'd like to welcome the people that are here. Jerry, John, we got Gizmo is here. Um... It probably is going to take a second for people to realize I had to restart it because there was some technical problem and I had to rechange it. So it's a whole new video right now. So people are saying it's now working. So there we go. So let me put this on so you actually have something to see. And of course, it goes blank. So give me a second. Let me just add this because I want to make sure you'll have something to look at other than just a still image. So there we go. People are starting to see that it's been redone. So sorry about that. But I wanted to show something different for once and talk about something that I've been telling people about for a while. And that's the fact that especially, I mean, it goes for all businesses, um, but I'm talking about just when it comes to comics, comic book industry, and how they basically lie to you. Now, when I mean lie, a lot of times I don't mean they're trying to be evil and they're trying to deceive you. A lot of times... They don't tell you the truth because they want you to be excited about something. Like, for example, uh, the dislikes you got on the first video are understandable. Don't worry. Don't worry about those people. There's going to be seven people who've been stalking my channel for years. Let them, let them thumb it down if they want. I don't care about that. Um, it's going to happen regardless. That's what they do. But, um, like, for example, if, if they told you that Wolverine's going to be in Amazing Spider-Man, which I don't have any information that he will be, People would be pretty excited about that. But just imagine if you didn't know about it until you watched the movie. That all of a sudden in the middle of the movie you see Wolverine. You'd go crazy. You'd be like, oh, that's so amazing. So a lot of times the companies don't tell you the truth because they want you to be excited about stuff. But then you get the other end of the spectrum where they lie to you because they don't love the comic book industry like you do. And if they admitted that, you probably might be turned off about their products. And you see it time and time again. Now you see the image of Swamp Thing, which recently got canceled after one season. Now I'm going to show you, and I will post the link in the description once this uploads. But I'm also putting a link for anybody that's interested in my comic book mystery boxes. So please check those out. Click on the link and go all the way down to the bottom and you'll see them. But I'm going to go to an article by um, CBR.com. So I will post the link in the description once this is uploaded so you can read it for yourself. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I want you to see what they originally said was the reason they were canceling it and what the truth was when somebody discovered it. So I'll skip the first paragraph. But they said the initial report of the reason why this show was already canceled after one season. It says the initial report claims that Warner Media. The executives, now of course, keep in mind, the executives, they're responsible only to the shareholders, not you. But they told everybody that they, quote, well, not in quotes, but they said they did not, did not like the direction of the show leading them to cancel the series. But the real reason was, was because they were promised a lot more money in a tax break, a rebate, that they didn't get because of a paperwork error. So they didn't stop it because they didn't like the direction of the show, which is kind of silly. How do you know what a direction of a show is in the first season? Especially when it's got 10 episodes. I mean, really? But that's what they tell people. They didn't disclose this information. It was discovered. And this is what I try and tell people about thinking differently when it comes to Disney, Fox, Warner Brothers, Marvel, DC, time and time again, we see movies and TV shows that the actors and actresses and the producers and executives and all those people will praise, but then if it doesn't make money, or like, for example, in the, um, the Game of uh, Thrones ending season... When the writers were given the job of making the new Star Wars movie, 
they couldn't get out of Game of Thrones quick enough. And look what it did to the quality. And of course, they do the typical, if you didn't like it, you're sexist, racist, and all that other fun stuff they do to silence people these days. Because if you get people embarrassed or intimidated, they'll choose to be silent, allowing agendas to create their own path. My point is trying to tell people is, businesses, when it comes to things you're passionate about, will take advantage of your passion. And they do it solely for money. Am I saying every single person that works for Disney or Warner Brothers or Fox or any of these places, are you, am I saying that everybody is there sitting there like rubbing their hands together going, ha, 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 look at all the money I'm making? No. The people who do the writing, the, the, the people that do the work the cameras, the people that may have a cameo little appearance in the first movie they've ever been in, the people that have drawn their first comic, I'm sure they absolutely love it. But they only do what they're doing because of the people who finance them. If, Like, for example, with politics. If any politician told you how they really felt, you'd probably never vote for them. And that's why you see politicians always flip-flopping, saying what one group wants to hear. The problem isn't the corporations or the politicians or anything doing that it's we the people who tend to just believe it and choose to look the other way and i made it i just made a video on my other channel i have another channel called barn on 11970 which has nothing to do with comics and i was talking about the fact that my other channel used to get bullied all the time and it's been ghost banned on youtube it's got almost 50,000 subscribers and my average view is 800 my average views here is 1,500, and I have 7,000 subscribers. But I was warning people for years that they were silencing me, only to be ridiculed, laughed at, made fun of, and ignored. And yet, if you see what's going on with Vox and the adpocalypse that's happening to a lot of big channels on YouTube right now, it's all about money. And that's why I try and warn people about, like, for example, when Marvel puts out a book, and makes 700 different variants. They'll make you think, oh, you gotta collect them all, like the Pokemon. I think Pokemon's what started it. You gotta collect them all. I understand that we love comic books. We love the comic book movies. But you notice the direction they're starting to head. Now, I don't have a problem with diversity, but it's how they're doing it. It's like, we're just throwing it in to say, hey, look, we got this new thing, which actually insults minorities by saying, look, we got this token individual. Look, see? See how inclusive we are? How about putting in somebody that fits the story? But they don't want that because they want your money and make you think, well, if you don't like it, there's something wrong with you. And that's why even my channel here gets hated on by a minority but the funny thing is they're actually my lo most loyal followers because they've been stalking me now for three years i actually find it funny i thank them for their viewership but my point is trying to make is the things that we love the people who want to sell you things have to feed into your ego have to give you what you want to hear but you see time and time again how many movies and tv shows they start out by telling you how much they love them, but when they don't make money, all of a the sudden, they disappear. Was it because they didn't love them anymore, or was it because they didn't make enough profit? There have been movies that made their profit, but not a lot of profit, and they stopped it. I mean, look, for example, like Deadpool. How many years... Did Ryan Reynolds have to petition them to do a good Deadpool movie? Because remember, Deadpool was originally in Wolverine Origins. A form of Deadpool. That's what Hollywood thought of Deadpool. He tried for years, and it wasn't until there was that quote-unquote leaked footage on YouTube that people saw, and the industry all of a sudden said, wow, there's actually demand for this. Let's make a movie. Chop, chop. Do you think they all of a sudden said, wow, we really love Deadpool and he hasn't gotten his due. And even though we didn't do him justice the first time, we're going to do it now because we love the character so much. Or was it, hmm, look at all the money we could make. 
I want people to think differently. I'm not trying to be negative just for the sake of, oh, here's Chris thinking in a negative point of view. Sometimes reality can be negative. But like I said on my other channel, you can change the road you're on by just changing your thought process. And that's what I'm trying to instill in people. But look at the direction. I'm really concerned about this next few phases of Marvel in the direction they're starting to head. Like I said, I have no problem with diversity, but make it part of a, a reason for there to be in the story. Not like, oh, look, here's our first gay character. Well, like, for example, in Endgame, they had one of the directors, one of the Russo brothers, play a quote-unquote gay character, which, first of all, that scene had nothing to do with the story. You take that out, it doesn't affect the story at all. It didn't need to be there. It should have been on the cutting room floor. Second of all, I didn't even know the character was gay until people pointed it out, because I didn't even think about it. But it had nothing to do with the story, but yet they said, look, our first gay character. They have many things that they were proud to display that. What did it have to do with the story? So it actually belittles the gay community by saying, look, we have a token person that is homosexual. Look how special you are. And of course, I'm offline. What a surprise. It says live stream offline. Well, well it says you can hear me. Uh, here's the funny part. Um, it says live stream offline. <clears throat> Has that ever happened when I do my videos? What a coincidence that when I talk about things that are thought provoking just happens to show offline but you're still hearing it so um what a what a coincidence all right so people are still saying they're hearing me but just to show you uh, i'm sure you could see it because i have this on so it's look right here it actually says stream offline so people can't say i'm making stuff up so i'm actually glad i have this so you can see what's going on but my point is <laughs> Yeah, big brother. And P and the funny thing is, on my other channel, I've been telling people about this for years. I was telling people about fake news before Donald Trump ever came into existence for most people, other than, you know, his TV show and his billionaire status. I've been warning people about this stuff for years, but people ignored it or made fun of it. And now look at all the stuff that's going on. So I'm trying to get people to think in a different way. Businesses like Marvel and DC and Disney, and, and and Fox, HBO, Netflix, all of them. Their job is to make money. Salespeople will make poop seem like the best thing you've ever had in your life. They take advantage. I mean, look at, like, for example, I'll do the whole CGC versus PGX. How many people have seen people attack PGX if a grade isn't exactly what they thought it might be, even though it is subject to a person's own human interpretation. But yet, if you watch how many videos are out there on CGC where people have said, wow, I don't deserve this grade, but I'll take it. How many people criticize CGC? Or I'll go with the regular comic bags versus Mylar's. Where I've actually proven by putting a comic in Mylar and putting it out in the sun, it did nothing to stop it at all from deteriorating. The Mylar will last longer than a comic will because people don't seem to want to fathom that unless it's vacuum sealed, you're still going to get moisture in the comic. You're still going to get bacteria. You're still going to get microscopic organisms eating away at your comic. But yet... People, because they've been programmed to believe it's better, and I'm sure that started by the very people who sell you this stuff, because yes, it is better, but it's better as its own entity, not as a protector of comics. Yes, it might not bend as much, but if you put a comic book in Mylar and a comic book in a regular bag and put them near a window in the attic where it's hot and cold in different points of the year or you're near the water and there's a lot of moisture, I guarantee you there will be mold in the one, in the regular bag and board, and there will be mold in the one with Mylar. But the point is, people don't want to hear about that stuff because it goes against their narrative to make money because 
There's a reason why Mylar is about five to ten times more expensive than a regular bag and board. And people will fight that. And when people like me try and point out the logic, that very topic is the reason why I shut. I originally ended up shutting down my original We Love Comics channel. Because before that, I was the biggest growing comic book channel. And then I made a video talking about my, my ideals on Mylar. And I might not have said it the best way I, did, I can do it now. But I got creamed for that, and that's when the haters started coming. Never let truth or reality stop you from speaking. So Swamp Thing, they told you that it was canceled because they didn't like the direction it was going. But the truth was, they were promised a $40 billion tax rebate, and because the state that they were filming in made an error and they couldn't give it, that, that's why they canceled it. But they didn't tell people that. People had to find that out. So I'm trying to tell people, don't believe everything that you hear. That's one of the things I say on my other channel. There's a reason why there's the word lie straight in the middle of the word believe. And as Ray says, Ray Martinez so eloquently says, always question. And people are so afraid to do that anymore because nowadays what happens? Like, for example, if you don't like Captain Marvel, well, you must be sexist. If you don't like Black Panther, you must be racist. How about maybe they weren't the best movies? You're, you're being silenced and attacked for your having a right of an opinion. Look at my channel. Watch how many thumbs down. Well, don't even not even listen because I don't want to focus on that. Look at every single video I've made here. Even my video talking about my health of my cat has 7 to 12 thumbs down. There are some people that are just negative. The idea is I don't let it stop me. I let it stop me last time when I shut down the channel. That's on me. But we all have to grow and learn. But nowadays, the way they silence people is by group attack. Oh, you didn't like a movie? You're racist. Look at all the headlines for, like, The Last Jedi. I loved Star Wars. I saw the original Star Wars in 1977 when I was six years old, seven times in the movie theater. I saw every opening movie except for The, Force, the Last Jedi. And I will never see another movie that's owned by Disney. It was the most ridiculous thing. Now, that doesn't mean you can't like it. He, see, here's the thing. Some people will hate what I say because it goes against what they thought. Show me a video where I tell you how to think. I just share my opinion. You don't like it, don't watch it. But the point is, they're getting to the point where I made a video about a year, year and a half ago talking about the crash of the comic book industry. And I said the crash is going to come most likely, when Marvel does three bad movies in a row. And again, I'm not talking about whether you like it or not. I'm talking financially. And what's what I see happening with all this social justice stuff, where they're including people just to be like, hey, look, see how, see how diverse we are? We're adding this person. We're adding an Eskimo, for example. Well, what does that have to do with the story? Are you adding it just to add it? Or are you adding it because it makes the story better? Because if you're not doing it that way, even though they'll tell you the opposite of what the truth is, they're really doing it to get brownie points. Say, look how woke we are. Because the news will be on your side. The actors and actresses will be on your side. That's not right. You think that's leading us to a better world or a more diverse world? Do you ever read The Art of War? It's all about divide and conquer. How the few can control the many by getting them to fight amongst themselves. And like I said, on my other channel, it's called Born on 11970. It's got almost 50,000 subscribers. You know how much I made in ad revenue? How much I'm going to make in ad revenue from my other channel with 50,000 subscribers this month? A grand total of $49. I am afraid of the direction that Marvel is going right now. Because again, like well, I'll give you a prime example. If you are in the hospital and you needed an operation to save you, do you want the best doctor or one that was put there just to fill in an agenda? In other words, 
well, we didn't have a woman doctor. And even though this woman doctor is not as qualified as another doctor who's been there for 30 years, we want to be showing how inclusive we are. So we're going to have this person fresh out of medical school operate on you on a life-saving, life-threatening operation. Would you want that doctor? Or let's go the opposite route so people can't accuse me of being sexist. Let's say the most qualified best doctor in the hospital that you're at is a woman. She's been there for 20 years, has done the surgery hundreds and thousands of times. And they say, well, we don't have enough men. So we're going to take one fresh out of medical school who has no experience at all, and we're going to have them operate on you. Would you be comfortable with that? And what if they said, oh, what's the matter? Are you sexist? You don't want this person? See how ridiculous that sounds when you do it that way? You want the best person, not the most inclusive person. But yet, when it comes to movies and TV shows and politics and the direction we're going now, if you don't agree with a group thought, there's something wrong with you. Now, the day they silence your opinion is the day they start to silence free speech. Be careful about that. And when people bully and help them create that because it makes them better, look at what's happening with Vox and how this ed apocalypse that is happening all over YouTube. When my other channel, I made, and I still have the videos up to prove it because I was called paranoid, I was called crazy and conspiracy theorist, but I was warning people back in 2012 of these things happening i would message big channels asking for their help because i was being ghost banned only to be ignored or to be called crazy and yet look what's happening to them now evil thrives when good people do nothing i wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the first videos that gets demonetized on this channel it wouldn't shock me but notice I didn't have a call for violence. No threats, no not not even one curse. I think the worst thing I said was poop. Please. Uh what is ghost ban? Ghost ma ban means you're not technically deleted, but they make it so no one can see the video. Like for example, I have a video uh, the most popular video on my other channel is called The Truth About the United States Law and You Extended Version. The first two years, it kind of went viral before all the silence. It, may, it got 630,000 views from 2012 to 2013. Since 2013, it has gained a total of 5,000 views. Which means nobody can see it unless you search for it. And how do you search for something you don't know is there? So my point is, corporations are going to lie to you. They're going to work and take advantage of your passion because we love comics. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. You love these movies. And they know that. Do you think they're doing all these movies because they just completely love them and that's it? Because if that was the case, they would be part twos of a lot of movies they said were going to be trilogies and yet never had it because it didn't make money or didn't make enough money because it is all about shareholders. It is all about profit. And until people start to understand or what I like to call understand that, it's going to get worse. And that's why I'm fearful for the next few phases of Marvel because now they're starting to go in a direction like Captain Marvel. Look how much they protect that character. Now, you could like her or hate her. You're allowed to have an opinion. But to be called a sexist or a racist because you didn't like a, a movie that may not have been good and trying to separate the sexes and the races, it's divide and conquer because they know it makes some people angry and they know it makes some people happy. Division is division. Why do you think when I buy a lot of the newer comics, you notice that most of my comics are independents and I try and support the smaller businesses? Like they say, by their deeds you shall know them. 
Like I've had many people make many many accusations about me, saying I have multiple eBay accounts and I secretly sell all my comics even though I can show you every single comic I've ever shown except for the ones I sold with the mystery boxes and obviously I'm not hiding that. Here's the link for it, by the way, if anybody's interested. I've had many people make lots of lies about me, like the media does about anything. They can easily take something out of context. But because you see it in print or you hear it on the news, you think it's real. Unless you research. So, Swamp Thing is canceled. Before it had the chance to really get off the ground. And I was actually very interested in seeing that show. It's one of the very few DC shows I was actually interested in. I have not seen one DC show because not one of them interested in me in the least. Especially this new upcoming Batwoman. Now, you can like it. Again, if you're going to hate me because of my right to have an opinion, then you're basically saying you don't appreciate free speech. And that's kind of silly. You can disagree. You can counterpoint. You can hold a conversation. But if you want to silence people or, or hate on somebody because they have a right to an opinion, what happens one day when somebody doesn't like your opinion and shuts you down? People don't like it when the shoe is on the other foot. And eventually that happens. So this is not my typical, and Ramundo Morales says, don't go there with Batwoman. Why not? I don't like it. I think when they say something like, for example, when she makes the quote of, I will not allow a man to take credit for a woman's work. How, how pathetic a statement that is when her whole existence is because of the fact the man started it. Now again, it could be the opposite. I would not want to see all of a sudden the next Wonder Woman. I don't want to see all of a sudden, let's say they kill off Wonder Woman and now a man comes in and they call him Wonder Man. And he puts on that headpiece tiara and he puts on her bracelets and he wears the lasso of truth. I don't want to see a guy say, I don't want a woman to take credit for a man's job. It goes both ways. So this is not a sexist thing. I don't want to see them I don't want to see an African American white um, um, Wonder Woman. Does that mean I hate African Americans? No. It means that that's not that character. You want to make an African American version of Wonder Woman? God bless you. Don't ruin what is already there. And then don't insult people by calling them racist or sexist because they don't like it. And yes, Victor, I know there's already a Wonder Man, but it was not a it was not Wonder Woman becoming Wonder Man. There's a little bit of a difference, but yes, I know there was a Wonder Man. He he debuted and died in Avengers number 9. Trust me, I know I know more about comics than most people think. And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about my quote-unquote non-lovers, we'll say. And Huff House Art says crazy times are here. Yes, but they don't have to be. All people have to do is wake up to the reality. People, they're so geared into their passions that they refuse to see the writing on the wall until the writing on the wall is so loud that you can't help but notice it. The idea is to change that. I'm willing to absorb some of the hate and some of the negativity and some of the, the ma people making fun of me and making judgments about me for still being able to keep me my, my consistency. Notice throughout the years, I've been consistent with what I talk about. And yes, Victor, I know it was a joke. I'm just on that, that path. Because there would be people that would say that in a non-joking way. So trust me, I didn't take offense to it. But Supergirl wouldn't have existed without Superman. Batgirl would not have existed without Batman. I'm sorry if that offends somebody, but Wonder Man probably would have never existed if it wasn't for Wonder Woman. So it goes both ways. In here, I'll just type it in. I don't have the link. It's the truth about the United States law and you extended version 
the funny part is there's a lot of stuff that in there and a lot of things I've talked about that people will say is conspiracy theory. I've been called crazy. I've been called all this stuff. And yet, all you have to do is look up the stuff. I show actual evidence of places that you could look it up in videos. And I was attacked and ridiculed. And I said, there's a reason why I was silenced. They said, because you only silence the truth. You don't silence fake. Why do you think... Even people like Donald Trump, whether you love him or hate him, he talks about fake news. I've been talking about that for years. They don't silence the crazy ones. They silence the ones that go against the, uh, any agenda. Most people just don't want to hear it because they don't want their boat rocked. But eventually your boat sinks. And if you watch all the other boats sink and you do nothing to save anybody then when your boat starts to sink, there will be nobody to save you. If I start seeing more Captain Marvel movies to the point where, I mean, you're allowed to have women characters. I don't have a problem with that. Like I said, one of my favorite all-time movies is the second Alien movie, Aliens. That was about Ripley, who is a female character. They made her strong without making every man look like a bleeding idiot. I love that movie. I love her as a character. I hate what they ultimately did to her as a character. Love Princess Leia. We have movies like Kill Bill. Lots of female strong characters. But they Hollywood tries to make you think, oh, well, Captain Marvel and Wonder Woman, first ones. No. Anybody ever remember a movie called The Wizard of Oz? Back in the 1930s? Was that a, a male-led character or a female-led character? Dorothy, not Danny. So the Wizard of Oz back in the 1930s had a female lead. And they're trying to tell you in 2017 or 2018 when Wonder Woman came out, that's one of the first... You know, they talk about with Black Panther, oh, the first African-American superhero. Anybody remember Blade? Just because you change the truth doesn't mean the truth is changed. And I tell it like it is, not how people want it to be. And that's why I can understand why some hate. But you're only hurting yourself by ignoring the writing on the wall. And like I said in a video I just made, if you're driving down a road and it's stormy out and it's dark out and you can only see two feet in front of you and all of a sudden you see a sign where it says bridge out, you could sit there and say, I don't believe it. You can keep going. You can be in denial. What do you think will happen? You fall off and die. Whose fault is that? Or some would be like, oh, woe is me. Now I... Now, it's too far to turn around, or it's too hard, or what do I do, and sit there and cry. Just turn around and go another direction. So, corporations everywhere are going to lie to you. They're going to tell you what you want to hear so they can get your money. I don't have any brand loyalty. I have loyalty to quality. I will use PGX, I will use CBCS, I will use CGC, but only if it fits my needs. Not because, oh, well, CGC is number one, so because everybody says it's number one, I guess I have to do it. Well, that's, that's a sheep. Don't be a sheep. Be a shepherd. Shepherds don't get eaten. So... If you want to live in this dream world where you're afraid to speak up because you're afraid to get ganged up on, well, you're making the gang larger because you end up f f siding in with something you don't believe in. How is that a good way to live life? And I'm not afraid to stand up to bullies. Now, obviously, this isn't a video you're going to hear all the time. If you look at my channel, most of it is about comics and about the positive part. But sometimes you got to, you know... You got to sprinkle a little truth. And <laughs> Raymundo says it great. Ah, uh, because you are popular does not mean you are the best. Absolutely. By their deeds you shall know them. And like I said, there's many people that have accused me of many things. 
Just look at my videos. Does it suggest that I'm some evil person looking to screw you all over? Or have I done nothing but give information to help people? Now easily I could have made money off of people and say, Oh, you know that, that Walking Dead book, you better go get it. And then all of a sudden I had, oh, I just happened to have 20 of that book and sold them all for $20 a piece. Notice I don't do that. I've been accused of doing stuff like that with zero proof. It's always good to make accusations, but show a little proof. Why don't they ever show proof and have nothing but accusations? Because that's all they have is accusations and no proof. Because there is none. But yet people will believe things. There's an old saying that says, tell a lie long enough, it becomes the truth. So, I'm trying to get people to think differently. So you don't get taken advantage of. I understand how much some of you, and including myself, we love comics. We love these movies. But don't settle for mediocrity and try and make poop into a rose. Spraying perfume on poop does not make it a good thing it may smell better but i guarantee you you wouldn't be wanting to put that on your plate and having it as a meal but people right now are spraying a lot of perfume on a lot of poop and trying to justify it and you wonder why movies and tv shows are getting canceled or they're not good or they're making you feel bad for having a difference of opinion that is not freedom. Be very careful what you wish for, because you may get it. And Tony says, I should be on satellite radio. Well, considering there is a certain agenda going on, I wouldn't be allowed on satellite radio. They don't like people that speak up and think for themselves. You cannot control somebody who thinks for themselves. I don't go to movies like Captain Marvel. You know how much how many dollars Disney and Marvel got from me off of Captain Marvel with her movie? A grand total of zero. You want to make change, you don't riot, you don't protest, you just don't give them your money. Notice how quickly they'll stop doing a movie or a TV show if they're not getting their money. That should tell you right there, you want to make change, you don't burn down the town. You don't injure people. You don't threaten them. You just don't give them your money. Peaceful protest with an actual change. Money talks. And the swap thing is direct proof of that. But of course, they didn't tell you that. They told you they didn't like the direction it was headed. So a show that has 10 episodes... Season one, they didn't like the direction it was going. Really? And the sad thing is, that's what the media promoted. But then it got leaked out, or somebody revealed that it was because they didn't get the tax break they were promised. And because they weren't getting that money, they didn't love it anymore, I guess. So there's a lot to listen to here. I want to see who earned their power viewer status. Now, obviously, if you got here late, You'd have to rewatch it. And Harvey, as much as I love Reggie, please do not promote another channel if I'm using you as a moderator. Because I'm going to take that away from you if that's the case. I don't mind promoting people, but I wouldn't. I don't think Reggie would like it if you started promoting my channel on his. So please don't do that again. Like, I, if you see my channel is the most easy to promote somebody, anytime people ask. I promote their channels, no problem. But please don't use the moderator thing to promote another channel on my live stream. That's that's disrespectful. Again, I have no problem with Reggie at all. Love him to death. He's a great guy. I will recommend his channel. But if you're moderating my channel and you're just saying, go to watch somebody else's video, don't do that. Because that will make me question you. So on a positive note, I want to thank you for listening. Whether you agree with it or not, that's up to you. I'm saying my point of view. I'm sharing things that I've had years of research on. I know what I'm talking about. And RV, apology accepted. And see how easy it is? Communication. That's what it all should be about. 
I didn't have to call him a racist or a sexist. I didn't have to instantly ban him. I made my point across, and you know what he did? He didn't call me a jerk. He didn't say, I'm, I hate you. He didn't say anything to me. He just apologized. End of problem. See how easy life can be? People are so afraid of conflict or communication. See how easy that was? So thank you. I'm actually glad that happened. It proves a point. How easily you can have a disagreement or a situation happen. So this video is going to be all over the place. It's okay. It happens. It's the message that I want you to listen to. If you're one of my ultra power viewers, make sure you listen to the whole thing. But if you did, let's hear your point of view. Let's hear your thoughts. Stop being afraid to say what you want because other people may ridicule you. If somebody disagrees, that's okay. But if somebody disagrees to the point where they want to silence you or attack you or make fun of you or hurt you, they're the wrong one, not you. Even if your opinion is wrong. Because remember this, everybody's opinion is right because that's all it is. I can look up at the sky and say the sky is green. Does that hurt anybody by saying that? Even if it's not true? But what if I have a color problem and I see it as green? It's all about perspective. And that's why I need your help to share my videos, to give the thumbs up, to show the, the negative people out there that they are never going to win. Now, if I earn a thumbs down, that's one thing. If I did something you absolutely hated and you felt I earned it, I can respect that and I can live with that. But you notice the thumbs down that I get are always within the first minute or two of making a video. Or like if I have a live stream that I'm saying is in 24 hours, there will already be five thumbs down before I start it. Those are people that are just being hateful and negative. I mean, it's their choice, but it's not going to stop me. Never again. And that's a beautiful thing about having bad things happen. If you learn from them, they happen for a reason. So were they really bad? You got to think differently. Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been on YouTube since 2011. And I learned a lot over the years. S never settle. Go for quality, not quantity. Because if Marvel continues down this diverse path just for the sake of saying, hey, look, to see this token person, we're putting him in, see how good we are? That is the opposite of what they really want you to believe it to be. Where was the last movie where you saw an incredibly heavy person fall in love and marry the very poor, unattractive male. You don't see it, but yet they talk about, oh, we have to be more inclusive, but yet, name me how many serious love stories where they didn't turn it into a joke, where they had two very overweight, unattractive, poor people be the lead of a movie. Because they know it will not be a financial success, whether they want to cram down an agenda or not, they know where the money is at. Why do you think all the superheroes are beautiful people? How many people had a problem with quote-unquote Fat Thor instead of thinking about the fact that he was actually so traumatized? I actually liked the version of the character because it made it believable that sometimes people fail and they actually turn it in on them, abuse themselves for it. But yet people had a problem with him being fat. Well, isn't that body shaming according to nowadays diversity? Most people cannot think past a second of their thought process. But the beautiful thing is, you can always change that. Evil can always turn good. Unless you're in denial, or you like being evil. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, most of the problem doesn't come from evil. It comes from good people choosing to not fight evil, or confront evil, or change evil. Evil thrives when good people do nothing. Don't be that anymore. It's like a light switch. You turn it on, you shut it off. It's that simple. So I want to thank everybody for listening to this 44-minute video. It still shows offline. I wonder how many people will actually see this. Most people will not watch it because it's not telling people what comic to buy. And that's okay. But here's the beautiful thing about even them trying to silence truth. You can't silence it from everybody. There will always be the sand that cr cracks, slips through the grasp of your hand, no matter how hard you squeeze. So thank you for listening. 
I want your honest opinion in the comments section. If you appreciate my ability to have a free thought, share this video for me, please. I know that might be asking a lot, and I know most cannot do it or will not do it. But to anybody who does, I thank you because you're helping spread what most people don't want you to know about. Uh, Tony says, I thought it was ridiculous how many people were attacking PGX grading on Reggie. Because that's what people are told. People are told that PGX is bad. Even though every month I have four uh, PGX comics and I show the grades, and it's not like it's a 1.0 and I get a 7.0. Because people have been programmed, and most people don't want to go against it. Because if I say anything about CGC, I'll be attacked and I'll have a video that's thumbed down. But if I say something about PGX, I'll get a lot of views and a lot of thumbs up. So most people do it based out of fear or not wanting to be attacked instead of being what right. You know, first they ignore you, then they mock you, then they agree with you. It doesn't have to be that stage. So I'm not afraid to stand up for what I believe in. And I base a company not on what other people say, but how I react. And who that? There you go. See, you're back. I'm glad I made you a moderator so I could see your comment. A couple of people said that the, um, they couldn't see comments. And I don't know why, because I didn't... As you can see, I never blocked you. So, if PGX... If you see, I did videos where PGX did wrong and I called them out. When PGX... When I had the Werewolf by Night 32, I predicted it was about between a 3 and a 4. And it came back, I think, a 6. What did I do? The very next video, I cracked it open. Most people that get the CGC where it's a higher grade, what do they all say? Watch the videos. They say, oh, I'll take it. But if it was PGX, they criticize them. Why? Because then they get the PGX brownie points from the people that seem to want to control your thought. And who do you think's doing that in the long run? I bet you it's people that work for CGC. Why? Because they want your money. Even though their cases crack all the time. Even though they seem to not be able to get rid of that quote-unquote rainbow effect. Even though I see constantly their, they undergrade books. And religiously give out 9.8s on many books that don't deserve them. But people don't want to call that out because they're afraid. And what does that do? That ends up getting rid of competition. You think CGC wants PGX? Wants the new company what is it, EGCS or something like that, or CBCS to do well, they want them to be gone. And if they get that wish because so many people have chosen to not speak out, what do you think is going to happen to the quality and the price of those products if they're the sole business with no competition? It's, it's unbelievable. And yet, I'll be hated on for having the passion enough to see the writing on the wall and trying to save people from their own demise. I'm no hero. I'm no saint. I'm just somebody that pays attention to more than what is. Because trust me, if I talk down about something in comics, it actually hurts me as well. But I'm not afraid to take that little hit and that little sacrifice for the greater good. People are so afraid to stand up for themselves for fear of being bullied. You know what? I can take any bully. I've done it before. I had a video on my old channel where I did a live show and me myself faced about six or seven people that had a problem with me. Faced them all on my own. So it took six of them to stand up to one of me. Who's the stronger? And it's not to toot my own horn. It's trying to tell people, don't think the masses have power over you unless you give them your power. Don't let businesses take advantage of you. Just because other people tell you something's good, do not base information on what other people say. Base it on what you do. Experience is wisdom. There are smart people who are told how to think, and there are very wise people who learned how to live. Which one do you want to be? So this was one of those rants. It definitely went way off track. Some of you appreciate that. Some won't. I can't control that. I'm not here to tell you how to think. But if something in this video made you think in a different way, in a positive way, or made you re-establish the direction that you've been headed, and something good comes out of that, if one person changes for the better because of something I said in any video, then I did something good.
So thank you for listening. I hope you experienced some kind of positive. And at the very least, I hope you respected my ability to have my own opinion. Whether you agree with it or not is up to you. So today's surprise subscriber shout out will be James. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please give a shout out to our shout out, James. Thank you for coming. Hit subscribe if you haven't. If you want to share this video and like it, it helps me and it's very much appreciated. I would love to hear your point of view, but just do it respectfully. If you have to curse, if you have to judge, if you have to be mean just to make a point, you're probably not a good person. And those are the people who are not listening right now. Why do you think my live chat is always good? And why my moderators really don't need to moderate anything? Because the right people are listening. Make a difference. Don't let divide and conquer ruin this amazing gift we've been given on this planet. Not many times in history have people had the ability and the freedom to have what we have, and we're all ready to throw it away for fear of being judged. Be careful about that. Don't get, let this gift be thrown away, because you'll regret it. So thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's we love comics. I'll see you soon.